Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX slipped into the red zone today, losing 22.78 points or 0.37% and settled at 6,208 points. Market turnover was BDT 5.41 billion, which is an increase of 26.13% compared to the last trading day. Beacon Pharmaceuticals, Orion Pharma and Orion Infusion from the pharmaceutical sector, Stern Housing, KDS Accessories and Anwar Galvanizing from the industrial sector and Adian Telecom, Genex Infosys and E-Generation from the IT sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the tannery sector posted the highest gain of 0.46% while the fuel and power sector registered the second highest gain of 0.01%. On the other hand, the IT sector posted the highest loss of 4.32% today. Five industrial and four IT companies were among the top 20 losers today. Chartered Life Insurance, Advent Pharma and Shunali Ash Industries registered the highest gain, while HR Textile, ADN Telecom and Monospool Paper were the top losers today. HR Textile fell in value today as the company resumed their trading today after a record date. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Chartered Life Insurance bought the Islami Life Insurance insurance and progressive life insurance increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top two news. The industrial production including clothing, food products, beverages, motor vehicles, trailers, furniture, leather and leather products growth was 13.36% according to the Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics BBS report in August. The production of apparel grew over 43% in August year over year. But currently for global inflation, Western countries have less demand for which the foreign orders are decreasing. So as for export. Moreover, the power and gas supply is also short to manufacture. The National Board of Revenue NBA reported a reduction of new taxpayer registration growth. 4.34 lakh people and firms registered as taxpayers in the first quarter of the current fiscal year, which is 2% down compared to the last year. This is assumed to be because of the rule of compulsory submission of tax returns, not considering income, and to submit proof of tax returns for 38 services to boost revenue. If the process was easy and the government could show some benefits in return of paying tax, people would be much encouraged to register. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.